Now for the ABC Lady Generals, Palabanto, Georgina Lute is gonna be their starting setter, their leading scorer last season. Etong si Kat Almasan alongside her one-two combo sister, na si Chris Reyes with Rea Magalona right there at the middle. Ayan, nakikita natin yun. I am looking at Chris Reyes right here in the front line of VAC. Daira very fit. Halatang, uh, kumbaga, nag... She nag got ready. Yeah, nagbabads ng ora sa gym. Yes. Itong si Chris Reyes. Alright. Here we go. It's gonna be the Lady Blazers versus the Lady Generals featured in our opening game of the season. Again, Benilde on a 29-game winning streak. Going for a three-peat this year, EAC. Just trying to get back to the next round and trying to get back to a better record here in the NCAA. We start off the action with Chris Reyes getting rejected by the double block and here on the other side. Now it's Benilde's turn, winning a stalker, putting that one up and through to open the scoring in season 99. That was a really smart move from Estoque. EAC expecting a hard hit from CSP. Would not expect that hit as well, tried to go for that pancake, but she was in too much. And speaking of loot, she meets Gamit up top, and she wins the joust. That's a good thing also, you have Luke here on the side of EAC. She has to be really smart on setting the balls because you have really tall blockers here on the side of CSB. It's hard to go through the blockers and their spikes, so she has to be really smart and do those fast sets. That's right. Quick reads on the defense of the Lady Blazers. Easier said than done though. Pascual with a power strike, doesn't work. Almazan will counter. Getigan, feeding it to Pascual. Oh, what a dig by Reyes. They go to the back. Ooh, Jen Omapas catches the line. That was a good hit. Going for that down the line, seeing that both her blockers were covering that cross court. Look at this replay. That angle and that swing was picture perfect. Love that. It was an underhand reverse set yes. to Jen Omapas, who just caught the line at the back. Montoniedo setting up a stalker right there. Luke again choosing Omapas. She has so much trust in her opposite hitter. It might be a good decision as well kasi wala pang tumatao dito kay Omapas. Ito, dalawa na. But she gets the check ball. Back-to-back -back points from Omapas. And of course, given that trust by Lut, talagang she's making the most out of all her sets. An encouraging start. Definitely. For EAC, Gaira. And this is exactly what you want to do against so the defending the champions. You want to get your confidence in. About score the early points to establish yourself against them. Talking about early, you really have to establish your early win as well because it is just a single round robin here in the NCAA. That's right. Every game counts. Estoque. Catching the hands. Pero buhay pa! Oh. This will not be sent across. Did That's a point for Pinyard. Omapa, Omapa is trying to save that ball over there, but she didn't have to put too much power. But what a save and defense by VAC. Yeah, it's a trademark of VAC. It was William Stoke, who serves right now, who scored the point. Reyes. That one hit the net. Mondoñedo to Gamit. The quick is red. Here's Toro. He will try. Cross court is checked as well. Reyes gives up the free ball. Getiga now. Choosing Pascual. Great net defense shown by ESE as well. Omapas with the push. Not gonna work. Rally continues. Back row hit. Ball is kept alive by Mondoñedo. Here's another back row hit. This time from the other side. What a rally, Martin. <laughs> Longest rally so far here in the opening set, and it is ended Mitch by that quick zero tempo almost by Mitch Gamet. Gamet definitely used that set by Mon by her setter. Look at that hit, hammering it down. That's the Gamet and Mondonier, the connection we've been seeing for the past two seasons. Liliana with a push. Pascual, who hasn't scored, by the way. Basang basa ng EAC, ang mga atake ni Pascual. Here's Dorog, he will rise! And she will put it through the blockers. 
she has so much power in her head. She really reminds me of her sister, Martin. <laughs> Justin Dora, who is playing in the pros. Look at that approach and that back swing. I'd argue that Jesse Dora has more precision. Kasi, <laughs> pero si Justin, mabigat talaga yung mga palo. Yes. Yeah. And her services as well. Actually, um, in the player's profile, sabi ni Jessa, ang idol niya in uh, na local player would be her sister. Talaga? Yes. Sweet naman nun. <laughs> Shout out to Justin Dorog, the sister of <laughs> Jessa Dorog. Siyempre, nasa family tree din niya yes. ni Coach Jerry sa mga na-produce na players. Also from Cebu. Reversa. Ball is tipped in by Mitch Gamet. Ooh, but... There's a violation called here. They're saying Gamet hit the net. So EAC gets it. Let's check out this play. Mitch Gamet with Momento. Let's see. That was very close. Hard to say. Hard to say because the, according to the replay, yo parang sa ilalim kasi yung tinitignan. But Coach Jerry did not use yes. the challenge. That's it. And Pascual with an emphatic counter. That's the Gil Pascual that we know. All right, our officials talking. Referee Ray Galvez and Lester Lejano. So, they address the team captain of Benil na sabihan, yung assistant coach yes. or coach na itong Benil Lady Blazers. Maybe about the calls. Yeah. So, that's, if it's the assistant that coach, that's Coach J. Yes. If it's the head coach, that's Coach Jerry. Yes. Loot. That's a cross-court hit. That's good. Oh, Jen Mapas. Mapas. With so much power. She's been playing really well here early on in the first set. And Lute trusting her so many times yeah. early on. What a cross court hit and variation. She was going for the down the line hits earlier, and now she's going for the cross courts. We're seeing good playmaking so far yes. coming from George Lute. <laughs> Reading the Blazers' defense very well in the uh, early parts of set number one. That's a good dig by Estoque. Dorog on the approach. Mondoñedo setting up Zamnolasco. And that's what she does. Zamnolasco. EAC was not expecting that hit from Nolasco. Usually when you're a middle blocker, you have what we call a zero tempo, yeah. wherein you come in before the ball actually gets to the center. But here, it's a differential set, wherein it's a little higher. The set is a little higher yeah. than the zero tempo. It's like a set for the wingers. Okay, but it's at Almazan. Right about time for her to score her first point. Almazan, of course, one of the main key holders here in the EAC. She has been such a leader for her squad yeah. in the past season, and hopefully she brings it here on the 99th season, season of the NCAA. Kaling humuli ng linya so far ng spikers ng EAC. No last This time, it has popped up. Back row hit. Gatigan keeps it up. Pascual, her own version. Of a back row attack. Yeah, Tumama sa net, pero pumuntos pa rin. Almazan and Omapas were looking at each other because they didn't know who would get that ball. Again, when you're playing volleyball, communication is key inside the court. That time it was made unpredictable. Yes. With a bounce on the net. Loot. Back to Magalona is given a try. And si Reyes. And then Sidorog sa kabila, Estoque pots it down. I love the flick of her wrist, such power using her forearm. All right, first technical timeout. Benil is ahead on the other side of our break. It's going to be a report from Ms. Nervis. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambata ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49 kilogram category sa Olympic qualifying tournament 
ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong sa Buanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic Gold. Welcome back mga kapuso sa NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tour Tournament with a game between the Lady Blazers versus the Lady Generals. A new era versus a vibrant history. Ito ang mapapakita natin ngayon sa opening game ng NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Introducing six rookies into their line, napapansin rin natin na hindi na nakasignature Bobcat ang Lady Generals. And this is because na mention sa akin ng veteran na si Criza Reyes na chance nila ito para mas ma-express ang kanilang sari-sariling style on court. And you will also be seeing the complete Season 97 Championship lineup of the Lady Blazers with the return of Season 97 MVP, Micah Go. Kaya naman, let's see if the Lady Blazers can defend their title or the Lady Generals will snatch the first win of the season. Back to you, Martin and Gaira. Thank you so much, Liz. An interesting bit on the hairstyle of the Lady Generals because we saw that last yes. season. We, you know, we thought they were making a statement, you know, a change of culture maybe in EAC so this, goes out. this I year. Oh. I remember from the past interviews of last year because I was watching their old games. Sabi nga daw sa isang interview that they did that haircut, they had that hairstyle para to confuse their mm. opponent. Right, yeah, right oh. now, at least. They can express themselves and be more comfortable inside the court, which they are showing That's right. here. Although we have that error Attack goes by Reyes. But so far, we're seeing solid play from the EAC Lady Generals. It's very hard to put away a team that is focused on their floor defense. Definitely. Of course, defense is the first offense here in volleyball. And even the Lady Blazers, who has a very potent offensive core, is having a hard time, but as I that say that, out. they establish, I think their biggest lead right here in set number one, 11 to eight so far. Going, EAC going against CSB, the Benil um, Lady Blazers, of course they're the defending champions, so uh -huh. if you're EAC, you should minimize your errors and have faster sets, because you have a very mature squad here for Benil. That's right, and you gotta maintain your play. Definitely. You know, just like how you started, but, how about that slide? We've seen that a lot of times in the past. Mitch Gamit on the running hit. We gotta give that point though to Mondoniedo because with that really fast set, no one, no one was expecting that on the side of EAC. Yeah. 12 to 8. Benilde establishing a more comfortable cushion. There's a scramble. Benil though recovers. Here's a free ball. AC taking advantage. Oh, a counter Jaja running Villena. strike. This time from Jaja Villena. Villena with that swipe on that ball. It's, that is a very smart move because if you can see, two blockers were established there. Yeah. So she had the chance to just put that or good decision coming from Villena. Loot. Gamet. Yes, it's Gamet with two quick ones for Benild. I've been noticing that Gamet has been dropping the ball when she does running. And on the side of EAC, hindi nila makuha yung depensa, yung short balls because they maatras na sila agad. They still haven't adjusted to Mitch Gamet. And she scores again. This is the third straight Mitch Gamet point timeout for Benio. He got a timeout here by Coach Rod. That's his name. Blazers. Pag ang bola papunta sa inyo, huwag na kayong gumalaw. Kayo na ang umuha. Pag gamalayo sa kanya, sa'yo, gagalaw ka sa kanya yan. Naintindihan. Alright, what seems to be the problem here for uh, EAC, Kaira? Again, uh, what Coach Rod was saying, it's a 25-50 ratio inside the court, meaning there's that area of responsibility where you only have 25% in the court na dapat hindi na inaagawan yung pwesto ng teammate mo because you have uh, 50% which hindi na dapat uh, pinapakialaman ng kasama mo sa loob ng court. So what coach is saying is that they should actually maximize what they have already inside the court and 
Ayun na nga. Kasi sabi ni Coach, hindi sila nag-agawa ngayon, pero nagtinginan sila. But what a serve from Montañedo, targeting that donut hole. Yeah, one of the best servers in the league, Juan Montañedo. Again, you mentioned the hole in the defense of BAC. It's being well defined and it's being spotted right now by the Benil Lady Blazers from the side, now from the middle. Here's Estoque. A check ball. Let's see. Omapas. Cross court. Hit is good. Much needed point to stop the bleeding for the Lady Generals. Yes, she finds a spot there in between Mondoniedo and Pascual. I've been noti noticing with Casey as well is their defense is seamless pag umaatras sila. Pero yung sa gitna, dun sila nahihirapan kasi bigla bigla sila umaatras. But what a hit from Gamit! Over the top for Mitch Gamit. She is on a roll here in set number one. And Benil has arrived at 16th point. Another technical timeout. We'll be back in a bit. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59 kilogram event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228 kilograms at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job! Back to the action. Here inside of Finn Oil Eco Oil Center. And the other members of the Lady Blazers, ito yung uh, juniors team nila. The teams that will be competing in the boys and girls division sa volleyball fiesta ng NCAA. Alright, but back to live action. The new BAC. Six point lead for the Lady Blazers. They are in a run here. And they continue that. So for EAC, it's not just the offense of Benil that's becoming a problem. Pati sila nag error na rin. What I've been seeing on the side of EAC, though, is kasi matatangkad nga yung blockers mm. ng Benil. Yeah. So you don't have a choice but to go for the sides or sa taas yeah! for that check. Yeah. Pero nahihirapan sa mas nagiging sobra yung power nila for that check ball. Yeah. And ito, tama-tama lang para kay Jaja Villena. Iniwas. Dun sa sumabay na double block. Good set by Lute as well kasi medyo na late yung middle blocker ng Benil because yeah. she was deceived by Lute's body language. Mm -hmm. And now the captain of EAC, Ada Caliardes, comes in for the first time to serve Rhea Magalona. Magalona rather, coming in for their libero. Alright, here's Galliardes. EAC just trying to chip away here. On deck to serve, team captain, Ada Galliarde. Down by six. 11 serving, 17. Oh, that's a powerful serve. Oh, the they push. finally got the drop ball. Yeah. So adjustments we're seeing coming from EAC's side, but Benilde has other weapons. Dorog is able to connect. Dorog with with great precision in that hit, she saw that the blocker in front of her medyo mala malayo yung kamay sa net, so she just it's used the hands of the blocker. And then a discarded on Ijeso Dorog. Ooh! Wow. A service ace unleashed by Gamit. Gamit not only attacking from the front row, but also on the service line. This is the graduating Mitch Gamit. She wants to leave Not with another so championship so for Benilde. Loot. Omapas. Ito na basa na ni Mondoñedo. Dorog will try. Oh, that's a hard push. Kept alive by the Lady Generals. Floan setting up Nolasco. Nada prison lang. Omapas. Nandun sa likod si Estoque. Dorog sent back. Ball is still in play though. Almazan! And 
do know that's Estoque. Great defense from behind by Estoque. And this is still alive. What a rally <laughs> from both squads, Martin. Great floor defense being shown. Umabas. The, Sobra. The, it did not hit the line, unfortunately. That's what you want. Yun yung iwasan mo, cause when you have a really really long rally, of course, ayaw mong magka error and to para masayang yung yeah. efforts so, ng home team. Better. But again, Omapa, she's been scoring a lot here early on in the first set, so she's trying to be more aggressive in her hits. Bago patagal ng composure yes. yung sa uh, rally na yon. Oh, Dorog, flying in for that hit. You can see Dorog. She is. Seeing it from the court right now, she's the shortest yeah. from her squad. But look at her elevation and her power. Look at that backswing, Martin. Ooh. Powerful strike coming from Jesse Dorog. So, Gaira, a complete cr contrast to how we started the match. This is now a 10 point lead for Benilde. Anong uh, narinig mo dun kay Coach Rod? Coach Rod was mentioning about their blockings kasi alam naman, sabi ni Coach Rod, alam naman ang ganda ng depensa ng Benilde. So of course, it would be a power play and fast set. So huwag na nilang basta itaas yung kamay nila but put it in for that chance of a good block. This time, it's the offense of VAC shining. Pat Almazan, who is used to uh, carrying the scoring load for EAC, scores that point last season. He scored 105 points, number two, just number around 11.7 point points per match. Number they need more of that. We have a double substitution here for a full front row. Yeah, to see Anne Formento, former primary setter of EAC. She's not the primary setter because she is still recovering from that left leg injury. So it's a slow comeback for her, but inuunti-unti na siya ni Coach Rudd. Of course, she's one of the veterans of her squad. Oh, but that is a double violation. Yeah, rare miss it. Yes. From one of the best in the league, Loan Montoniano. I, I like her idea, though, of an opposite setting because you can see that two blockers yeah. are already going for that open hit, open hitter. Yeah. Gil was right there. Yes. So <laughs> Wait. It was too long, lang, tas na double siya. Panorin niyo po yung asibihira niyo lang magigita yung Loan. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is a service error. So it goes back to Benio. They're three points away from taking the opening set. Jade Hentapa and Janay Basarte entering for the first time. Doble palette para kay Coach Jerry. Hentapa, who was the second leading scorer of Benil last year, comes off the bench today. I know, this is how you know that <laughs> Benil has a really, really deep bench, Martin. And they're up by nine. Everyone is so talented in their squad. Yeah. Almazan. Oh, Estoque again. Stellar floor defense in this set. Almazan will try again. This time from the other side. The defense. Katigan keeps it alive. Here's a free ball. Over to Almazan. Who challenges the bloggers? Pero buhi pa rin. Another chance ball for EAC here. How will they use it? Almazan. Drop. Nandun si Basarte. And Tapa will try. Kept up by Reyes. It's a free ball this time for Benilde. Toro cross court. It's good. That was a, such a sharp hit from Toro seeing those two blockers in front of her. So she went for that very, very sharp hit. And it just catches the line in time. We've had quite a few long rallies here. And almost all of them won by the Lady Blazers. Service error from Basarte. Medyo manamig pa. Yes. But for EAC, a nine-point lead. You know, the only thing you can do here is create, create some sort of momentum. Yes. Put some points in. Put yourself in a better position, momentum-wise, going into set number two. But like last year, though, good serve. Yeah, it's a good serve. Like last year, I 
seeing their previous match against Benil in the 98th season of the NCAA. As we see this replay, what a serve. But I remember the scoring again of the AC and Benil. Mag magkalapit eh. Oh, yeah, no yeah. Una, last year also. Tapos biglang mawawala si AC. So sure. they really have to minimize their errors here. You're right. It's the same mm -hmm. story that's happening here in the opening set. Jade Hentapa showing us the power. And Benil is at set point. Jasadorog, who's been playing well. So far, serves for the set. Formento to Reyes. Oh, kept up. Good Again, defense. it's Estoque. Formento. Underhand set up here. And on Basarte. And Tapa will try. Formento with a dig. Back row hit. We've been seeing a lot of rallies here in this game. Oh, and Jade and Tapa catching the line at the back to end set number one. The Lady Blazers are off to a fantastic start, winning set one by 10, 25 to 15. All right, we're done with set number one. Coming up next, of course, set two. Sa pagbalik ng 